Hi everyone, in this series of videos we're going to look at inputs in vMix and how you can add them into your vMix production. You may have heard people talking about vMix inputs and didn't quite know what they were talking about, so today we're going to explain exactly what an input in vMix is. Inputs are the building blocks of your live production. An input is an element that you want to add into vMix so that you can produce, record and stream a great live production. For example, an input might be a camera, a video, an image, microphone, web browser, a PowerPoint presentation or a title, just to name a few. All of these things are classed as inputs within vMix. Now at the moment we have a blank vMix production and don't have any inputs. In order to bring our production to life we need to start adding some inputs. So down the bottom left hand corner is the add input section. If we click this it will open up the input selection window. From this location we can add any input into vMix. The great thing about vMix is it allows you to add any combination of inputs into your production. So it means you aren't restricted to only having a certain number of sources such as three graphics inputs or five videos or two titles. You can have any combination of these that you like. As you can see down the left hand side there are a wide range of inputs that you can use within vMix. By clicking on each item you'll be able to add them to your production. Each input has a slightly different method of adding it so we're going to cover the different ways to add inputs in the following videos. Now for a quick example I'll show you how to add a video. So if you select video on the left hand side then you can browse for that particular video that you want to add. So you just need to select the video and then click open and then OK. So that's just a really simple way to show how to add an input into vMix. You can do this for videos, images, audio inputs, all that kind of thing from your add input menu. Another cool thing about vMix is the ability to drag and drop files directly into your input section to be used within your production. So if we go to a folder, we can select some videos and then just drag those into your input section. So as you can see, those videos have now been loaded up into our production. Now you can use these for certain inputs like videos and images, and it's a great way to bring in multiple inputs at the one time. So you've got the choice, you can go to add input, select it here, or you can also drag and drop. Another little feature is you can quickly add certain ones by clicking this arrow here, and they have some quick inputs available from this particular menu. Okay, so in the following videos, we're going to show you how you can add the particular input and show you the different features for it. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks.